has created us, but only God truly knows why we make the choices that we do. And sometimes life leads us down a road where there can be no happy ending. We make small choices that later on in life has consequences that we could never have foreseen. We seek out pleasures that very often are tools for the destruction of our souls. Without God as our guide, we wander unprotected through this valley of the shadow of death. By our very natures, we are weak. Let those of us who have gathered here today reach down into our own understanding and there find a place of forgiveness in our hearts. So let us not judge our brother James Richard Daniels. Instead, let's join together with his loving wife, Marsha, and his brother, Edward, in remembrance. And let's learn from Jimmy's life and from the tragedy of his final years. Though confused and lost, with God's grace and mercy, let's pray that Jimmy's soul has made its way to God's holy place. And let's take with us the clear understanding that there, but for the grace of God, go I. I'm sorry, Marsha, for your loss. Can I help? Thank you, Father. No, I've had time to prepare for this. It wasn't exactly unexpected. Yeah? Well, maybe if you'd stuck around, we wouldn't be here today. Who are you to point the finger at me? Come on, Eddie, let's get out of here. At least I was there for him. Yeah, that was the problem. Marsha, you're all right. Edward, are you all right? No. Haven't you noticed, Father? I'm not. Brian? Eddie, what happened to Jimmy? Boy, that's it, it's just like that. What happened to Jimmy? You do two years in prison without letting anybody visit you. you. Wouldn't even accept the letters that Jimmy fucking wrote you, man. Disappeared for two more years, nobody hears nothing from me, nothing. You just show up and you want to know what happened to Jimmy? I heard he got himself clean. I heard he had it licked. How could you hear that? You have been around, you don't know what it's been like. No, you don't. You know me, I always do all right. Stabilized. You clean? How could you ask me that? I'm fine. I just want to know how you're doing. Well, I guess I'm doing about as good as I can do without having my big brother around watch over me. Eddie, I'm sorry. You know. About being away so long, this whole thing with Jimmy. I'm really, I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry too. Sorry to hear about Jimmy. He's a nice kid. Nice kid. Brian. Hey, Sal. It's a lucky thing you coming back just now, huh? I mean, in time for the funeral and everything. Yeah. Lucky thing. I guess you're gonna be a comfort to your brother. You know, like the old days, huh? <laughs> Listen, uh, I want you to have a drink on me. I mean, for Jimmy, huh? Thank you, Sal. Yeah, right. It was very generous. Yeah. Very generous, Sal. Very generous. Hey, Eddie. Sorry to hear about your brother, man. It's a tough break. Hey, Mike, a couple of drinks on me for Eddie Boy. Man. Already been taken care of. Compliments, Big Sal. 
Well, I'll be damned. Look who's here. It's a free country. Yeah? Well, Vincent might not think so. Not today, Mike. Huh? Not today. All right. For Jimmy's sake. God rest his soul. Keep love a boy out of sight. To Jimmy. Did you see Carla? I almost didn't recognize her. She looks cold. Don't start with that shit, all right? Vincent, though. Vincent looks the same. Vincent's making lots of money for people. Big Sal gave him his blessings to work this whole neighborhood, so stay out of his way. Eddie, I need to talk to you. Not right now, okay, Doreen? You shouldn't have left me back at the at the cemetery. Come here. Jesus. Sorry about that. She's really cool. She's just a little fucked up right now, you know. So, tell me about the joint. When I got there, I didn't shit for five days. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't remember much of the first year. It took me that long to get my head straight, you know? And then all I could think about was Carl. What she did to me. Should have seen that look in her eyes when they took me away. Look, Ryan, everybody knows that Vincent made Carla set you up. <sighs> I know. That's what I can't get out of my head. Stop. Just stop right there. <sighs> Carla is Vincent's property now. Right after you got sent up, he put her in rehab, he married her, they had a kid, and now she's a regular Susie homemaker and everything. So get it fucking straight. He will fuck you up again if you even look at her. Yeah, I'll tell her. That was Charlie over at the Skillman Lounge. He said Vincent just left there. He's looking all over for Ryan. Thanks, Mike. I owe you one. You don't owe me shit. It's my place I'm worried about. No problem, you got it. Listen, Mike, about that talk you were gonna have with Big Sal about me, you set that up yet? Yes, yeah, so forget about Sal. You already overextended all over the street. Nobody wants to deal with you. Just get Ryan out of here. All right, but talk to Big Sal. Don't be a hard on. Come on, there's gonna be a taste there for you. Take a hike. Paisan! I can't believe this place in one day. First I bump into your church and now here. <laughs> this is nice, am I right, huh? You know what, this calls for celebration. What do you think? Eddie, run across the street and go get us some beers. Peanuts always make me so bright. They do that to you, Mitch? Yeah. It's been so Ryan and I will. Yeah. Eddie, I got a real thirsty. Thank you. It's all right, Eddie. We're only going to be a couple of minutes. We might even be quicker than that. So how you been? Now look at you. You're still dressing in rags. Your tastes are always more expensive than mine. Well, sometimes expensive tastes get you expensive things. You know, things that are real warm, real comfortable. I don't know, things that feel real good. I guess if you don't mind another man warm before you did. You know? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can remember. Oh, that's right. You've always been a lover, not a fighter, right, Romeo? Well, you never did know how to play your hand, and it seems like the game ain't exactly going your way right now. You knew what would happen if, if I ever saw you again. You knew. You know what? All that can wait. Today is a day of celebration, right, of old friends getting together. And today we have peanuts, and uh, now we have beer. So, Ryan, you take a couple of days, and you mourn your dead junkie brother. And then you go away. And then what? Well, if my old friend here is not of a story very, very soon, then uh, let the games begin. Oh, and Ryan. I'll be watching, my friend. I'll be watching.
Rich, what are you doing? What I was told to do. Yeah? Well, now I'm telling you to get out. You ain't gonna like that. Mitch, I said, get out. So he sent you? Yeah. Well, I'm here. Seem to have done real well for yourself. Everything has its price. Not everyone. Did he hurt you? What do you care? You know me better than that. I thought I knew a lot of things till you set me up. He made me do that. Yeah? Did he put that look in your eye when they dragged me out of our bed? Ryan, I was high and I was scared. And I needed help and Vincent was there. Nobody could get you to marry him. Not if you didn't want to. There are so many things you don't understand. All I know is my brother's dead. I'm sorry about Jimmy. Yeah? Well, you can't feel too sorry. Because even though you got yourself clean, that outfit, those earrings, this car, all of it was paid for by that shit Jimmy shot into his arm. And it all comes from Vincent. So tell me, when you're with him and you're alone in his bed, and you're playing a submissive little housewife, do you still feel sorry? Or are the perks just too fucking good? I hate you. I hate you. Tell your husband I got a few things to take care of. And then I'll be gone. I came to the stop over on 14th Street, just kind of rolled over and nodded out right on the passenger seat. I mean, the truck was right in the middle of the intersection. Doors were locked, free bird playing on the radio, engine running. Some psycho took out a bat and started smashing it on the side of the truck. <laughs> Cops had to smash in the windows. They pulled him out. I gave him a DWI right on the spot. Jimmy said, they had to get a tow truck for my tow truck. <laughs> Jimmy could never keep a job. Yeah, after that, nobody'd hire him. Marsha left him, and Jimmy had nothing. Hi. Come here. Come here. Come here. Um. He kind of looks like Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy and I we took after our mother. Ryan and I are just hanging out. Well, I'll, I'll go into the, the bedroom. I mean, uh, you can... We're gonna leave you two alone for a while. Why? Come on, it's early. It's all right. I'll see you later. All right, here, use my keys. Thanks. Do you think I scared him off? No, it's okay. It's all right. Are we okay? No. Go ahead. Baby, I love you. I love you too. Thank <laughs> you. 
Hey, champ. What happened to the eggs? Looks like someone murdered them. They're bleeding all over the place. Daddy, they got shot. Like, what happened to that man where you work? Boom, boom, boom. You're dead. I got you. You're dead. Who could have told you that nice little story, huh? I wonder. It's 8 a.m. and he's just getting in. Se huele como pescado. Enough. I'll fix you something. See how nice mommy talks to daddy? Maybe if Teresa is nice, she might become a mommy too one day. So how'd it go? Couldn't be too concerned if you stayed out all night. Why? Should I be concerned? No. No what? No, Vincent, you shouldn't be concerned. Teresa, take Tyler out to the park. Daddy wants to talk with Mommy for a minute, okay? Give me five. All right. Major message is leaving, and that's it. That was all? We spoke, and now he's leaving. What else can it be? I don't know. You tell me. Vincent, there's nothing there. Then tell me. Say it. Yeah. <clears throat> or else. You know what else. Tell me. Tell me. <laughs> Come on, pussycat. Tell me. But you're my man. Takes care of me, and I take care of him. And I'm his. Yeah. Hmm? Is that what you want to hear, baby? Yeah. Hmm? You mean everything to me. You know that, don't you? I haven't even thought for a second. Hi, Father. Ryan. Oh, wait. It's been hard, eh? I just, I wanted to thank you for calling me about Jimmy and the words you said at the funeral. He always loved this place. Where is it, Ryan? Father, it's Eddie. I'm, I'm worried about him. I, I, I just don't know enough about what's going on. Sometimes I can help. Come inside. No, I can't. No, come, come inside the confession. I can help. Ryan! <laughs> Ryan, I knew you were going to be here, man. Hey. Oh! <laughs> hey, Jimmy, and you used to come up here all the time. You could never find us. Bullshit. I knew where you are. I just didn't want to spoil it by finding you. <laughs> you can see Manhattan from here. Yeah, there's a lot more past that. Not for me. Not anymore. What about Jersey? Oh, Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> come on, pack your bags, get your shit, we'll just go. <laughs> hey, come on. Stop that. Hey, Ryan's rules are back. <laughs> your big brother. I'm supposed to watch out for you. Yeah, you're right. You're supposed to look out for us for me and Jimmy. That was your job. It's not too late. Jimmy might think so. <laughs> Gotta go. Is that Vincent? Hey, you see this? <laughs> Some people make it out of here and some people don't. You did it the hard way, but you made it out. I did. I'm still here. It's in my world. And I like it. It's cold, me. I gotta get back to it. Do you, Eddie? I mean, do you really? Yeah. <laughs> Eddie, come on. You're still your big brother. Yeah. He's still my big brother. <laughs> She is about everything. 
Um, this is some of Jimmy's stuff. There wasn't much left. He just about sold everything. You sure you don't want any of this? No. I'm sorry, Ryan, but I, I gotta walk away from this now. I feel like I've been hit by a freight train, and it's been hard on me. It's been really hard. Oh, um, these are uh, Jimmy's letters that you returned unopened. It hurt him that you wouldn't read them, but he wrote you all the time. He just stopped mailing them. I guess, you know, he, he didn't want you to know he was in trouble. He didn't want to bother you with that kind of stuff. He wrote right up into the end, and towards the end, he was just... Well, you wouldn't have recognized him. Marsha! I gotta go, Ryan. I gotta go. You know, when we were all growing up, you three brothers were really something. You were really something. What happened, Ryan? What happened to all of us? What exactly did he say to you? He said he'd be here. Well, where is the little prick? Three times I paged him, nothing. That whole fucking family was always just one big piece of shit. I'll find them. I want him out on the street now. And no more fuck-ups. What'd you give him? Good. What did he take? Good. What did he take? Eddie, Good. come on, breathe, Eddie. Good. Breathe, Doreen, call him in. Doreen, call him in. Eddie, come on. Eddie, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on, breathe, Eddie. Breathe, Eddie. Come on, don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep, Eddie. Eddie, don't fall asleep. Come on. Hey. Dr. Jager, please line two. Oh, companion for life. Well, it's gonna marry you looking like that. Uh, whoever she is, she's gonna be a very satisfied woman, that's all I can say. <laughs> you mean by the mere fact that a woman knows I'm gonna be a brother-in-law, that's enough to satisfy her? Well, it might, if you weren't so damn ugly. Can I help it if my baby brother got all the good looks? Uh, nope. Go on. Say it. Okay. Eddie, you're in a lot of trouble here. You're out of control. What are you doing? I'm not a kid anymore. And stop acting like one. Listen, I want you to go into a program and get clean. Why? It ain't like before. I'm just chipping that. It's exactly what I used to say. It ain't like that. I swear. I swear on Jimmy's soul, I swear.
I fucked up. I'm sorry. I fucked up with you. I'm sorry. I fucked up with you. I'm sorry. No, leave it. Leave it. No. No. Get the fuck out of here. No. Get the fuck out of here. 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 You old man. I'll show you, old man. Come on, do it, you fuck you. Go ahead. No more of this shit. No more. Tell fucking business. You hear me? You can't come in here and fuck around with people's business. Tell them what I said. Fuck him and fuck you. Look at him. He's a big shot, huh? You come a long way. I owe it all to you, Sal. You put in the word. You brought me along. You're a good earner. I got great taste in women. Is she treating you okay? Yes, sir. Well, I mean, if there's anything you need, anything at all, you should give me a call. Vincent won't mind. You won't mind, will you, Vincenzo? What about me, Sal? Well, there's plenty of me to go around, honey. So, look. What's wrong? Don't worry, I'll say goodbye to what we're going for you. No, you promise me. You promised me. Sal, I'm sorry, I gotta go. Something just came up. Can okay, I wait? No. The natives are restless. You know how it is. It's a little street thing, but I gotta take care of her personally. No. Oh. The personal touch always works. You put Carl in the cab for me? Absolutely. Go ahead. You take care of your little street thing, okay? And, uh, make sure it don't interfere with business because you know how I feel about that. And Vincenzo, you be careful. But you never know who's behind things. Look before you leap. You understand? Ryan, we ain't eight years old. And this ain't the playground. There ain't gonna be a little Tommy Murphy coming through that door, man. Why don't you just get out of here? Go on, man. I don't want you here. Go leave. I'm not leaving here without you. Come on with that bullshit. Look, I can deal with Vincent. Just let me handle it. I'll Shut up. I'm getting fed up with your shit. God damn it. We can make up a story. No more stories, Eddie. No more. Damn it. Vincent, Ryan's sorry. You little you fucking prick. Get over there. Fucking touch him. Take this Irish bitch with you. And ah. Shut the fuck up. Ah. If I hear one more sound from either one of you, then you'll be next. You understand? Not a word, not a sound. Just watch. You like it when people watch? Well, let's give them a show. Oh, oh motherfucker. Fuck! This is gonna be fun, Ryan. Eddie and me were walking out of here. You might as well kill us. Either way, we're free of this game. You want a fucking game, huh? I'll give you a game. Mitch? Vincent, don't do it. Get out of here, Carla. It's nothing to do with you. Listen to me. Get out of here, Carla. No, we made a deal. I'm yours. And I've given you everything I have. And I've given it only to you. But if you do this thing, if you touch him with that, then you will have broken your word to me. And then we will have nothing. Is that what you want? Is that what you want? 
Or do you just want me? Just me giving you everything that I have. So what did you expect? Did you think that things would really be different? <laughs> no. No, once that shit gets underneath your skin, once it runs through your veins and gets inside your head, it never lets you go. It waits until you hurt inside, until you are really needy and confused, and then it whispers to you. Oh, God. Jimmy thought he'd kicked it, you know? So many times he thought he was free. But then something would happen, some thing that would make him listen to that voice inside his head. And I'd come home, and I'd find him laying there on the floor, rolled up in a little ball. Sometimes the needle would still be in his arm. And I'd wait. I'd wait for him to come down, and then I'd just hold him. I'd just rock him like a little baby. And then he'd start to cry, and he'd beg me to forgive him and swear that it was the last time, but it never was. Because that shit was inside of him hidden in his mind, waiting, whispering. Look, Ryan, that voice is still inside Eddie, and it's still inside you. I know you think about it, about getting high, you know, just one little taste, one last time. Jimmy used to feel that way. He'd fight it, but then he'd wake up in the middle of the night covered in sweat. How do you sleep, Ryan? How are your nights? Does it whisper to you in your dreams? Get out, Ryan. Get the fuck out. Otherwise, you're gonna end up dead in some alley or on some rooftop or right under Hellgate Bridge, just like your brother. just really wanted to talk to someone. I'm listening. I'm not sure anymore about what's right or uh, what to do. I have these feelings, but uh, I got to do something. Why do you have to do something? Because every everyone that, that I that I love is in pain. You blame yourself? <laughs> yeah. Do they blame you? 
they 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 say that they don't, but I I think they have to. And that's what hurts you the most. It's it, it's not my hurt that, that, that concerns me. Then what is your confusion? Well, if I if I stay here, it may cause them more trouble. But if I go, I I can't I can't live with what might happen. Why have you come here? I, I told you I I needed to talk. It sounds like the ones you love are the ones you need to talk to to work things out. Well, what if they won't listen? Well, at least you would have tried. There's, there's no good way out of this. Sometimes we have to choose the lesser of two evils. We all have to face that. killed you. You gotta get away from this. If I could do it. If I could get you and the kid out of here, would you go? Ryan, I've given my word. And besides, I'm his wife now. You weren't always. No, I wasn't. But that was a long time ago. It's not that long. There are so many other things. It doesn't matter. None of that matters. I had to do things in prison to survive. Things happen to me, too. Things I'm not proud of. And it almost destroyed me. But always, always I, I thought about you and what happened between us. And sometimes I would just imagine us together, just like we are now. And I'd close my eyes and I could block it all out. But Ryan, I have Tyler now. I have to think about him, about his well-being. And you just don't walk away from a guy like Vincent. He wouldn't do that, even Vincent wouldn't hurt his own kid. Carla. No, don't you say it. Don't you fucking say it. Isn't this hard enough? I can't let all those feelings back in and then have to live like this. Carla, I love you. No. I love you. No. You and Mitch have a hard day at the office? Well, you know me too well. Actually, I was playing in a card game up in City Island, and I started losing. And you know how I feel about losing. I had 
the end, there was just three of us left in the game. So I took it easy. I watched every move they made. How they were playing their cards. How they were working the table. How they looked at each other. I just waited until everyone was real relaxed. And at ease. And then. Tyler, come sit with Daddy. Come here, sport him. And then? Well, when you gamble, you gotta be ready for almost anything. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But that's what makes the game so exciting. The possibility that you could lose it all. Especially the one thing you love the most. But then Gam was known that. Daddy, Mommy was trying to make me eat more meatloaf, but I didn't want to. Well, Mommy just wants to see you grow up to be big and strong. Because Mommy loves you. And Mommy loves Daddy, too. Don't you, Mommy? Don't you love Daddy? Hold on. They said hold on. Hold on. What do you want? Vincent wants to see you. What's the matter? Haven't the two of you had enough fun for one week? Well, Vincent's uh, very emotional, very sensitive. And I think this whole thing is getting way out of hand. So why don't you come down to the bar, have a few drinks, we straighten this whole thing out, and we'd be done with it. Straighten it out. Yeah. You know, Vincent, he ain't a bad guy. I know you've been hurt by someone else. Brian, come in. Pour yourself a drink and uh, have a seat. Make yourself at home. The night is young and love is in the air. It's in the wrong position. Oh, Carla, this is Ryan. And, Ryan, this is my wife, Carla. Why did you do this? Hey. Don't do this shit. Carla seems to be missing the good old days so much, I thought I'd give her a little reminder. Mitch, make sure that Ryan is comfortable and see that he doesn't leave just yet. Oh, and make sure he pays attention. I know just what you've been Ryan, did you know that from time to time, my wife does me little favors? Little things to keep the relationship exciting. You know, games. <laughs> it works wonders to rekindle the old passions, to spice up those long evenings. But then I'm lucky. Because you have to admit that even after all these years, my wife is still quite the looker. And having my child certainly hasn't hurt her figure. In fact, all this music, this dancing, this, this champagne has put me in a very romantic mood. Yeah. 
a very romantic mood. Don't you do it! Don't you fucking do it! Ryan. Don't you fucking do it! Shut up. No, no, Mitch, don't hurt him. See, Ryan? She's mine. It always will be. Should anyone or anything try to change that, then there'll be a lot more pain. But it's up to you. Understand? Throw him out, Mitch. Twenty-four hours a day, I want Louie keeping an eye on him. And I want everybody watching the streets for anything. Anything at all. Consider it done. So, uh, you want me to tap a little deeper into that private source of mine? I'm kind of in the mood. Sure. Knock yourself out. One more thing. What? Get the word to Eddie that Mikey needs to see him. Well, what's going on? Oh, nothing in here. God's damn me. What? He's left me with no alternatives. Either way I turn, I'm, I'm damned. But there are always alternatives. You're just confused. No, there's no, it's no confusion. It's, it's fine. It's clear to me. It's, it's what I'm going to have to do. No, no, it's man's confusion that blows the will of God. Man's separation from God's grace, and then he can't see the alternatives that, that, that faith and absolution can make very clear. But Father, I'm only a man. I can only, I can only make choices as a man, and it's, I'm afraid, not for myself, but for everyone else that, that I've put into the situation and I've placed in pain. Ryan, you must have faith. You must believe. Will you pray for me, Father? Will you, will you pray for my soul? Ryan, what is it? What happened? It's not what happened. It's just, that's what I gotta do. Fast horses, they, they make you a lot of money. Speed, he finishes first, he finishes first. This horse is slow, we don't want him. This is another possibility. Wait, wait, I told you, stay away from my son. Sorry.
need your help. Please, Teresa, there's no one else I can trust. Yellow, who is this? Who is this? I know you're up to something. Are you gonna get high without me, is that it? What are you trying to cut me out of? No, it's just business. Look, maybe later we should talk about some things. Here, take this, go back to the apartment, I'll meet you in a couple hours. Go, 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 go. You're making a scene with that junkie in my place. I'm sorry, Mike. I, I'm sorry. I should have my head examined. You two nickel and die and shit. This is way out of your What are you talking about? I can do this. Fuck this. After what your asshole brother pulled in here the other day, I got somebody else to handle this. Maybe I can give her help for Frankie. No, no, come on. I'm your man. Look, I do right on this. You can tell Big Sal about it. I'll be there and back in under an hour, and boom, you got play for the late night crowd, and you won't let Vincent down. All right. All right, but straight there and straight back. Just pick up the package and get out of there. These are dangerous people. You fuck up and nobody, I mean nobody's gonna back you up on this. There's a lot of cash in this envelope. Don't fuck up. Trust me, Mike. Trust me. Take you to dinner tomorrow, don't worry about it. Don't get out of this. 
Go upstairs. Oh. Eddie, sit up. Sit up. Come on. Can you walk? Can you walk? Let me see. 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 Eddie, you got to go to the hospital. No. All right. All right. Eddie, get upstairs. We'll put him in bed. We'll put you in bed. All right. It's okay. Take us upstairs. Get upstairs. He's going to kill me. He's going to fucking kill me right here. He's got tons of stories about when you guys were little. Near his big brother. You know, he actually told the whole neighborhood that someday you would come back and take care of him and Jimmy. He actually believed that. Well, for a while, at least. Some story, right? Yeah, some story. You know, it's been tough on him with you gone. He just really sort of has me. I mean, we have our problems, you know. Sometimes we get too fucked up and stuff. But at least we have each other. I'm glad you were there for him, Dora. You know, Eddie told me when you guys were little, it was you who first turned them on. You know? Got them both high. He said it was great. You know, it's hard to shake once you've been in it for too long. It's lucky for you. You got out. Yeah, I was lucky. Wish you knew what the hell he was doing out in Brooklyn. The only time he ever went out there was with Vincent. When they were doing some... Oh, you know... Business. Once, like... A month ago. And then last week, when Jimmy overdosed. Eddie was with Jimmy the day he died? Yeah. Eddie went with Vincent, and then he was going to hook up with Jimmy at his apartment. And then they were coming here. Dorina, this is important. Are you sure that that was the day that Jimmy died? Yes. I was waiting here for them. And then Eddie showed up alone, and he seemed really worried about something. And then we both got high, and passed out and later that night we heard that Jimmy died and it was just a whole fucked up day and everything Eddie didn't say anything about what he was doing tonight no he was just talking to Mike and then I followed him out to Brooklyn Doreen will be back in a little while if anything happens to Eddie call an ambulance or get him to a hospital okay Okay. But where are you going? To watch out for my little brother. Salvador. Charlie. How's Uncle Dominic? He's getting old. We're all getting old, Charlie. It uh, feels like rain. Maybe you can put in a good word. Well, there are some things that are simply out of our hands. And there are some things that aren't. That's why you've come, isn't it? Your man, uh, he's out of control. Come inside, we'll talk. Hey, no, no, stop that shit. Hey, we're closed. You hear me? We are closed. Come back tomorrow. Hey, look who it is. Now, what the fuck do you want? <laughs> it's all right, Mitch. I'm sure Ryan is just looking for a little action. After all, this is the best game in town. I think it's time for me to take a leak. I'll be right back. You just missed a group of very nice Latino gentlemen who are here looking for Eddie. Apparently, he was a very bad boy tonight. <laughs> very bad. Not only did he rip off a killer with their pure heroin, 
But he put quite a few holes in a number of their most valued employees, huh? <laughs> and you know how hard it is to get good help these days. But the best part is that he stole 60 G's from me. 60,000 of my hard-earned money. So he's suddenly very popular. Eddie didn't rip anybody off. You know it and I know it. Well, you'd be surprised at what some people do for that much money in drugs. I mean, do you even know what 60,000 in a kilo looks like? Huh? He must not have a clue. He doesn't know he's ass from his elbow. Go around behind the bar. Go on, Mitch won't bite you. Go on, take a look. Take a look in the ice maker. Latinos aren't stupid. They'll figure this out. Maybe I'll point them in the right direction. I think it's a little too late for that. They're probably over there right now sort of uh, working things out. Go on, call them up. Go on, call them up, asshole. You see, Eddie's probably entertaining guests right now. And you know how those Latinos love to party, huh? <laughs> I know you hit. I just don't know if you're alive. Fuck you. Good. Good, you're still there. There's more than I can say for poor Mitch. Mike. Mike, you all right? I'm all right, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen to me. Go get Sal. Bring him here so we can take care of this little situation. And then we'll go pay Eddie a visit, see if he's still in one piece. <laughs> Vincent! Vincent! Mike, just go. Just go. Do what I tell you. Well, looks like we got ourselves a little Mexican standoff here, huh? Your head? I'm hit. <laughs> you got a gun, I got a gun. I can't get at you and you can't get at me. I think there's three things you're missing. Yeah, what's that, pretty boy? Well, first of all, I think you hurt a lot worse than I am. In fact, I think you're bleeding to death. You can't get to your feet, otherwise you've been over the top of this bar already. And what's number two? I got your kilo and 60 grand. <laughs> sure. Till Sal gets here. And what's three? I got a telephone. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Let's order some pizza, huh? <laughs> How many do you think we're gonna get for 60,000, you dumb fuck? Carla, it's me. Carla, hang up the phone! <laughs> yeah, he's here. You wanna talk to him? Vinny, wanna talk to Carla? Yeah, Vinny's in one of his moods. I'll tell you. I'll tell you, I love you. I love you. Yeah, I want your answer. I know, baby, so am I. So am I. Come on, man. Go ahead, you, you tell me.
You hear that, you asshole? She loves me. Now listen, you you wake up, wake up Tyler and 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 take nothing. You just you pull on your coats and you get in the cab and you meet me on the corner of these block, you understand? I'm gonna fucking kill you. I'm gonna kill you both. <laughs> I'll find you, and then I'll kill you. I'll kill her. <laughs> I'll kill both of you. I could kill you right where you lay. Yeah, well, you better do it. You better fucking do it. I pray to God that I don't get up off this floor, Ryan. You better go to that priest. I pray to him that I don't get up. You know, next time I see Father, I am going to thank him. Because he told me some things. He told me all about you and Eddie and Jimmy. And some things about Carly you don't even know. And that's when I realized there's only two things I owe you. One, thanks for taking care of my son. And number two, I gotta call the hospital. I gotta get you an ambulance. Doreen. Where's Doreen? It's all right, Daniel. Don't worry about it, though. Don't worry about Doreen. Jimmy. Gotta talk to me about Jimmy. Eddie, it's all right. Don't worry about Jimmy now. I, I did it, though. I did it. I know, Eddie. I, I know. I give him that shit. I know I was poisoned. I told him not to do it. <laughs> I would have to cause something good. But then to read it, I got high and I forgot him. I forgot Jimmy. I killed him. I killed Jimmy. I gotta call you an ambulance. Ryan, don't leave me, please. I broke the fucking phone. I gotta go inside. I gotta get you to the hospital. I gotta make the call. You should have been watching out for me. You should have been here. I'm gonna make one call. Don't worry. I'll be right back. Eddie, I'm gonna be right back. Don't worry. I'm ready, Ryan. Help me out. I'm ready. I'm scared. It's Eddie. He's upstairs. He's hurt real bad. I gotta get him to the hospital. Well, I'll go with you. No, I'm not sure about Sal. He could show up. You gotta go. What about Vincent? Here. Here. What is this? That'll help keep you going until you get settled somewhere. Wait, what are you talking about? You're coming, aren't you? Yeah. Now, there's a bus leaving for Miami. I want you to go to the Ocean View Hotel, okay? You'll be safe there. Is my daddy coming with us? No, uh, your daddy can't come with you, uh, right now. Your daddy loves you, though. Your daddy loves you very, very much. You promise you'll meet us? Port Authority, okay? I got a bus to catch. Mommy, who was that man? Come on. Hey, hey, come on. I'll take you to the stairs. Hey, hey, come on. No, Eddie, come on, wake up. Hey, Eddie, come on, Eddie, please. Come on. Please, Eddie, come on, Eddie, wake up for me. Please, wake up for me, please. 
Come on, I told you I'd come back. Come on, I told you I'd come back, you son of a bitch. Come on, wake up. Eddie, come on, I'll do this, you son of a bitch, you fuck. Dead, Sal. Vincent's dead, shot right through the head, point blank. Should we go after Ryan? What should we do, Sal? Peanuts always make me thirsty. They do that to you, Mike? Come on, Sal. This whole thing with, with Vincent and Ryan, shouldn't we get even for Vincent? Shouldn't we do something? No. This one we leave alone.
this day.